Well, good morning everyone. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, I have a nice Conchura stove here for you. Uh, this is one of my favourite stoves. Excellent design. And they always burn nice and cleanly. So, I'm just going to give it a sweep today. There's a couple of other problems on this stove. Um, I'm not going to be able to um, sort those today because um, there's no time and uh, they're going to take me a little bit of time to do. So when I get to do these, I'll make a video for you. However, we'll go for the sweeping and I'll show you what the problems are so you know i'm just going to um move around the stove before i get going stove because the door opens the other way and it's not in the way okay so first things first we need to remove the bricks and the baffle and I believe we need to get one of the side bricks out as normal and bring that forward can you see there we go and once we've got that forward Get hold of it. Give that hoover off. Out for you, no. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's a nice colour, this stove. It's like a silvery grey. I like it. Is that enough for you? Yeah. Okay. Inside, there's various little um, airways. Um, on these stoves, they have a tendency, the little side ones have a tendency to block up. Um, so they do need a clean, and these ones do. Oh. It is into a twin wall chimney system, so it's the insulated metal tube again, and that looks good up there. 
Okay. I will show you this so you can see. So these are wood burning stoves. And they've got a little grate there that's fully closed. You can open it. Pulling that one's a little ash pan. And then there's various little flueways inside, little baffles. These baffles help keep the stoves efficient. And then apologies. The flue up there. Okay, and then you can see down here. Can you see? There's some holes there, and they're all they're not blocked up, but they're a bit sooty. And then there's holes along here. And then there's some more there. You see? So they all need a good clean. I'm just going to get you guys hooked back up. There we go. So let's give it a sweep and then we'll go through the cleaning. Okay. I didn't realise this stove had a, had a magnet on it. That's good, isn't it? Very nice. So it's not such a sooty chimney, it's a modern stove, it's one of the better burning stoves. It really burns nice seasoned wood. As you can see, it's got a load stacked up. Yeah, it's quite away from the stove, so it's not unsafe. And there's another delivery coming today. Uh, the back brick has got a small crack in it, so I'm just going to leave that in place for now. Um, and then I'll get to cleaning that afterwards. I'm going to put the uh, plastic sheets up. I like these stoves because they're clean burning, they're easy for me to deal with. There's a lot around and the parts aren't expensive compared to others for what they are. For such a good stove, you get in uh, reasonable priced parts, which makes me very happy. I don't think we should overpay like we do with some things. And there we go, especially you know, the cost of um, fuel at the moment, all fuels. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah. So let's get to hooking the Hoover up there. I'm not sure knock you. There we go. Which I'm not sure of this. That's fine. So let's push the rods to the top. Should be a satisfying clunk when they get to the top. Keep the hoover off whilst we're doing this. If we need to talk, we can, and 
just gonna show you a noisy thing. Okay, that's good. So there is a slight bend in there, around that. You can hear it, listen. That knock. So I will put the hoover on now, and uh, so it will be noisy. Uh, I'll keep you on for the sweeping, and then we'll go through uh, cleaning the stove out. I love a Contura. I don't think there's one that I do, but it's absolutely rounded so and very good shows. And I particularly like this model. 
um, because it's of the form, the design is very good. The stoves that are designed this way and set up this way are easy to maintain, makes my life easier. Plus also I think uh, the customer should be able to do this themselves if need be. And the overcomplicated stoves, um, you know, lots of bits that unscrew and whatnot, kind of stops the customer being able to do that. But this one, you could maintain this yourself. So I'm just going to tidy this sort up. Now it does have a crack in it but there's also a metal plate on the back and that will hold it all together. So I'm not really bothered about the crack. So I'm just going to use um, a small horse brush, get into all those corners, clear those little air and lets that I showed you, and this one here. They're not blocked, but we just don't want them to get blocked in the future. Okay. from right in the way
It was a bit towery that one, I've had to scrape that. There we go. Excellent. broken bolts or cracks. The back plate is okay. I've never had a back plate fail on a puncture before. Okay. So what I need to do now is remove the grit. Try and do that with you guys where you are. Okay. That magnet is in the way. Get rid of that. Okay, and the reason I do this is it sort of gets around the underneath. at the back. And it's easier to get that with the grit out. Let's do that. And this is why stoves need to be easily taken apart. This baffling as easy as it came out. Ooh. There's a nail stuck in there. Let's get rid of that one first. Oh my gosh. Nice little screw. Don't oh, annoy There you go. There you go. Sorry, sorry.
Hmm. I think I put it in the wrong way. I know what I've done. <laughs> Sorry for all the knocking. Put those bricks back in. So back brick with the metal plate. You see the metal plate on the back. Not these drops in there. There we go. And we're going to put a side brick in first, I think. There we go. Now the baffle. Yeah, I'll we'll put it in a different way. Put that up there. Just rest it on the back. And this uh, side brick. Perfect. Okay, there's a couple of blocked holes there. Yep. I think that's fire cement when, when they built it. It's rock hard. Yeah, it's not there now. Right, so we'll have a little, a little hanger. I say Hoover all the time, I mean back. There we go. So I'm just going to move you guys again. Quick look underneath. Okay. There's an air, me air mechanism underneath. Just checking that so okay. And we'll see more when we put the smoke test. Ah, apologies, I've had to switch to my mobile phone because I'd filled up my SD card and I've not got a, a spare one with me. So we're back on the Conjura, um, I've just put the grate in, the stove's rebuilt. The couple of problems that I talked about um, earlier was if you look at the door, there is this black mark and that suggests see the tar build up, the door seal's leaking, just there. So this stove needs a new door seal. Um, also, the lady was telling me water drips on the stove there. So we need to look at a leakage problem outside. And there's evidence of leakage on the flue pipe. 
in places. So, there's a couple of jobs for me there. Um, door seal, uh, the back brick I'm going to leave and just look at this water leak. But that'll be um, in a few months' time. So I'll do a video on that when uh, I come back. So, I will close this video out now. Um, if you like the video, please uh, consider giving it a like. Uh, and possibly subscribe to the channel for uh, my future content and uh, I will see you soon. Have a great day. Bye now.